Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Len's Island. This is Len with his fancy backpack. And <laughs> I've been busy off camera, as you can see. Uh, I'm slowly colonizing the world with uh, mostly bananas. Uh, we're going to make a giant banana plantation here. I see this, the trees have grown. Um, it's interesting, some places you can't put plots down. I'm not sure if it's due to the elevation or not, but... Uh, Actually, that's the wrong thing. We can what? Oh, before I couldn't plant one, put one here. But see, I can't put one over here. Maybe this, the tree's in the way. But I think it's due to elevation. I think I'm not 100 percent percent sure. Let's get rid of this tree here first. I did a little bit of farming off camera just to get all the materials ready so we could uh, unlock some stuff today. I wanted to unlock it. It's so desperately, but. Uh, I saved it for you guys, so... Yeah, we can't build here. I think maybe it's too low. I'm not 100% sure, but... I'm not sure my crops will be here forever anyway. Like, we might want to move them. First things first. Oh, uh, some of the grapes have come in as well. We got... Uh, grapes here. Oh, I just harvested that one back there. But I want to harvest this one. Okay, and sometimes it's hard to tell, like, what... Like, how to plant. Like, I should be able to select this now to plant something new, but it's a little bit, a little bit touchy. Let's see. Oh, this one's working now. Plant some more grapes. Maybe it's only accessible from one side. That could be the issue. So hopefully these crops will come in pretty soon. But this episode, we got some metal um, gathered up. I want to make some some stuff. So there's these item sets, item collections. So I'm going to make the last remaining iron things and see what the set bonus is like. Even though I don't really want to use the iron ones, I want to get into the steel ones. But we're missing three iron weapons. The iron spear we haven't made yet, so we'll make one of those. I probably won't actually use it, but uh, we'll make it. And the iron hammer. Craft that. And the iron battle axe, which looks pretty badass. And then we've got the steel stuff. The steel battle axe is the one I'm probably going to be using mostly now. And we got an upgraded shield as well. I'm thinking of switching over to the axe because it has... Um... Actually, they both have average knockback. Hmm. This does higher damage. But it also does, uh, I think this is Pierce, Slash, and Blunt. It does 80% Blunt damage, but this one only does 50. So it's a little bit more balanced in terms of the damage stuff it can do. This one's more about slashing. Um, yeah, but there's also tools we want to upgrade. The Miner's Pick. Uh, I think I'll do that right now. Miner's pick, uh, and the steel axe. When while we're at it, let's upgrade our watering can. And our torch, uh, we'll upgrade the torch later, I think. Let's see how many sh iron shards I have left. 103. Uh, we need to get some more rock to put in here. We could put a little bit in here. Let's light this up. Maybe put a little bit more rock. I think it's going to be cheaper to buy rock than to farm it in terms of time. Because all the money we're going to make on all this stuff. But first let's see what the old um, iron pickaxe does. In terms of regular damage here. If we can hit it. So regular damage is 6. And then if we get the special hit, it's 9. So 6 and 9. Let's see what the upgraded version is like here. Tools. We're going to swap this out. Let's see what this one does. So, nine. Oh, wow. Try to get a special hit here if we can do it. Nine and eleven. Yeah, that's way better. <clears throat> and the axe does... Okay, we're hitting two things at once here. Seven and ten. 7 and 10. Let's swap out the steel one here. This is 
for science. Nine, 13. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's nighttime, so we'll sleep here so our crops hopefully grow up a little bit. And we'll get, get a little bit more light so you guys can see a little bit easier. Oh, our grapes came in. Harvest those. Okay, now it's showing up. Actually, are these grapes, grapes done already? That seems extra fast. That seems like crazy fast. I moved my well as well. I moved my well as well. What a tongue twister that is. Uh, I think I might have just harvested the wrong bits there. Uh, we'll try to plant some more here. Get the vineyard going. Uh, see, like, this should be selectable now that I harvested. Maybe it's... Hmm. Oh, now, now it's now it's successful. Maybe it takes some time. I don't know what's going on there. I blame it on early access. Oops. Uh, let's... We're on that one. Okay, let's hit this one. We'll come back to it. I think it's a time thing, maybe. Harvest those, harvest those. Maybe if we come back now, we can... Oh yeah, maybe it just takes some time. I'll do some passion fruit. We'll do a little mix here. Passion fruit. Let's kind of see what all that food does as well. In terms of uh, health renewal, passion fruit. Tangy burst of sugar and energy. Okay, we're going to swap that out for blueberries and see how much we get. Okay, it gave us some health, but it didn't give us much food. And grapes. Let's wait until our health goes down a little bit so we can see how much better it is. For now, we'll swap in the grapes. Let's go swap in that other watering can as well. Oh, everything just got super dry. Okay, let's swap the watering can, do some watering. And it seems like a good time to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit that 100 sub mark. About 60% uh, of you aren't subbed that view these videos. Uh, let's swap that out. So this one has four uses versus two. And I'm going to swap out my weapon while I'm here. Uh, weapons, weapons. Did I not make the good steel battle axe yet? I don't think I did. Can we afford to make it? And is that it? Steel battle axe. I kind of thought I made it, but I guess I didn't, because it would be here. Let's go back into the bench and make that. Uh, no, we didn't make it. We only made the tools. Craft that up. And swap that puppy out. If we can. Uh, from here. Swap that for the sword. This is going to be our new weapon. Let's see how this puppy looks. Can we use it on trees? We can. It has a special attack as well. Ooh, fancy. Pretty slow reload there. Okay, I like it. The sword, I think, is better at uh, getting stuff like this. Actually, it's a pretty good... Uh, it's doing 9 damage. So it's pretty good, just as is. One hit on the blueberries instead of two with the old uh, sword. But let's get some watering going. Because everything is parched. I'm going to try to stand right in the middle here. To try to hit all four. Oh, it worked. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here. Now, are these watermelons done? They look pretty done. Okay, I met, oh, I only, I only got three that time. Slowly getting there. Watermelon take forever to grow. I should have stood right here. Because I only just hit one. But that's okay. Lots of water. No rush. It's a pretty chill game. Until you're in the dungeon. When things start attacking you. But the four charges is nice. We might be able to get the tier three workbench today. We'll see how things go. And that might unlock the windmill. We're gonna try to build a water 
tank thing as well. Get rid of any water. And we're gonna hit that dungeon again, try to get a little bit deeper. I actually took a peek from where we were last time. And uh, there seems to be something special I didn't venture on, but I saw something, so hopefully we'll be able to see that. I don't know how many charges I have, but I'm gonna fill up since I'm right here. This is kind of like Farmville or uh, Stardew Valley, the, the planting part of it. There's a really good documentary about the um, the creator of this game, the main creator, creators. There's one main developer and then he hired, or got another team member and then got a third team member to help with the music. And then a fourth team member to help with uh, other stuff. Um, but the guy, the, the guy did like a Kickstarter campaign and then had like a pretty big deadline and had some health issues due to the stress of like trying to hit the deadline. So it's a really interesting story. It's not a very long video, but I recommend it. Um, I'll try to remember to link, link to it in a comment. But you should be able to see the name of the developer. Can we see it from in here? Um, it's something flow. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll link to it in the in the description. Okay, we're all watered up. Let's see what else we can make here. We're kind of out of money at the moment, or low on money. Upgrade to level three. What do we need here? We need more metal scrap and more iron bits. And we want to make that water tower, which is under uh, farming bits. It should be here. Oh, and I have to build it now. I have it researched now. I gotta build it. Uh, here it is. Water tower. 65 iron, 300 wood, 80 scrap. Now I think we're gonna need the windmill to actually get full use out of it. I don't know what it'll do other without this without the uh, windmill, but we need some iron. Uh, nothing is coming in in terms of crops yet, so we don't really have a lot of money. Iron shards do cost a little bit. We'll cook up... You know what, let's just get a bit more stone here. It costs two coins, two gold, to buy ten stone. So really cheap to buy it in town. That might be the preferred way to go. Especially if you have um, a decent income from like crops. Let's see what we can do here though. Oh, it certainly goes faster now with the. Uh, oh, we got some iron sh shards out of that. I wonder if that's this this uh, pickaxe doing that, or if it's. Um, hmm. Maybe it's increasing the yield. Before, I only saw rocks coming out of that one. Could just be a, a low chance of getting... That might be it. Okay, we, oh yeah, we're getting iron out of these. I never got iron out of these before. The ones close to, to home. Okay. This is promising. I want to try this axe out on the on the baddies as well. Let's try the special attack. It's pretty cool. It's like a, kind of ninja move there. None of that one. Yeah, what about this one? Maybe it's just luck of the draw. Some of them have noticeable metal uh, seams in them. Okay, how much rock do we have now? We have 243. Let's go cook some of that up. I am going to build a nice home eventually. Um, I'm just kind of concentrating on unlocking stuff first. And I got to kind of plan out a beautiful home. Uh, someone mentioned having the bed outdoors is kind of lame, but... It's camping. It's, uh, that's what I call it. This is the uh, clay floor. You can upgrade these to either um, 
stone or ornate? Let's see what stone looks like. Oh, do we want to waste 25 stone on that? Sure, why That's what the stone looks like. I kind of like the look of this clay. Ornate. Uh, let's put in some more stone here. Get that lit up. Can we sleep yet? Not quite. Anything else coming in? I think tomorrow is going to be the big harvesting day. Everything, Everything's going to come in. Let's get these trees out of the way. I think the, the bees that come out of these trees sometimes are just random. They seem to come out of bigger trees more often though. Get a uh, way. Oh, there's one other thing I want to build. The music reminded me of it. And let's actually turn the music up a little bit. It might be a little bit loud, but I'll turn it up one notch. I really like the music in this game. It's pretty chill. But there's this thing we can build. Um let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Uh, gramophone. This is what I want to build. I kind of really like this song, though, so we'll let it play out a bit. But we can play different songs on this thing. And we unlocked a tool chest last time. And the weapon rack. Or I might have done that off camera, I'm not sure. But we haven't made them yet. I'm going to hold off on making these just yet. And there's this map of the town. This is pretty cheap. I'm going to make this thing and see what it looks like. I'm going to rotate that. We'll stick that right... I don't know. Here for now. You can you can recycle all this stuff. Let's, can we look at it? Can we zoom in on it? I thought we could actually use it. Hmm. Okay. It's not as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought we could view it, but... You can kind of see the island. Looks like there's a little island up in the northwest we should check out. And there's this one down here, which I think I've been to. And then there's an island that's not unlocked yet down south that I uh, should show you guys. Well, let's quickly play with this. You can click it. We're like too busy hacking away. Dawn. Another day. There's one near the end that's kind of cool. We can't go backwards. <laughs> Oops. Is it discovery? I like this one. I think this was playing earlier. Anyway, let's let's sleep for the night. Oh yeah, here comes the crops. Make sure we're on our watering can. We got a big harvest. We got a lot of bananas to harvest. Ripe bananas. So we got four, three, five. We're just gonna harvest all of these. Now the side that's good for harvesting these, if you're good at your aim and your you can harvest a whole bunch at once. And eventually what I'll do is I'll set up certain areas for all one crop and we'll plant all at the same time. So that way we don't worry about... Oh, the watermelons are in. Now these you can harvest multiple times. Sometimes, I think, maybe. No, I, I was lying. You know what, this is all glowing. This whole... Are these ready? That's mature. We'll get the side out and we'll risk it. We might chop down some stuff that we don't mean to, but uh, we'll risk it. Okay, we'll swap this out. Turn the music down one notch, even though I like it. Okay. Right, I got these while they're glowing. I think this whole section we can probably do. There's some a, a pumpkin there that's going to get... Okay, let's try this. Oh, yeah. 48 bananas. These look, those are mature. Gotta be careful with the roses. 
We'll do these ones individually, but it's the pumpkin. We'll sacrifice the pumpkin. Okay, didn't get these ones. Oh, oh got a pumpkin by mistake there. That's okay though. And what about down here? This is already. We'll try from this end. That worked out pretty well. There's a backpack upgrade we gotta get, but we need a bunch of coin for that. How are we doing over here? Is this ready? Mature. Yeah, this is all mature. Let's go. Let's go crazy here. I don't think the blueberries are ready, but uh, oh, this is ready. Wow, this is like a massive plantation. Do we have enough room for all these? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like the scythe works on the watermelons. That kind of makes sense, because they're kind of bulbous. Let's see. Are these ready? Oh yeah, they're all, they're all, everything's ready. That worked out well in terms of timing. Harvest that. Okay. Oh, one lone watermelon left. Now let's see what we can put in here. What do we got? Lots of, we have 460 bananas. Oh. We'll make this all bananas. We'll go full ba banana. Fully bananas here. Maybe that'll be the name of the episode. We've gone bananas. bananas. Hopefully we can do this quickly here. I want them all to be planted at the same time so they all mature at the same time. We can scythe them all down. This will be our cash crop. It'll be like a developing nation. The genetic diversity of bananas is pretty terrible from what I've been reading. There's only like a few strains left. Monoculture is not the way to do it. In a video game, it's fine. In, uh, in real life, it's pretty terrible. Because if you get a if you get a pest that kills that one strain, you lose them all. And if you're down to a few genetic strains in the world, then you lose those three or four. There goes the bananas forever. Unless they mutate and evolve. But I think a lot of the crops that are used for farming the world now are, are actually sterile. They don't actually make seed. Which is kind of a way for the... I think some of the reason is that the plant is way more, much better that way in terms of yield, but it's terrible in terms of getting a lock-in with the companies that's selling this se selling the seeds to you. How are these roses doing? Mature rose bush that will not sprout any... Okay, this is ready to go. What about everything else here? Okay, these are all ready to go as well. Oh, I just knocked those down. Gotta be careful. Okay, we'll risk it. Oh, we'll harvest these little ones separately. Okay, how many bananas do we have? We've gone full banana. 373. I feel like I should have got more than that. But anyway. Uh, let's uh, let's plant the rest. Uh, should we go pumpkin, watermelon? We got lots of watermelons. Let's go watermelon. Now, I think these are pretty good in terms of food. We are kind of starving and our health is going down. So let's eat one and see how it is. Watermelon. Okay, well, let's watch our hunger here. Okay, we got almost half hunger. And we got some health out of it as well. It's pretty good. Not bad. And I think they sell for five, well, like one each. Five for five. Lots of clicking. I may speed this up or edit it out. We'll see. It's a lot of planting. There's something satisfying about it though. Now these pumpkins. I guess I'll leave them in. Hopefully the pumpkins will be fully mature by the time I harvest this whole thing. How many water bones do we have? 
64. There's wheat as well. I haven't played with the wheat yet. Not sure if you can grow it. We'll find out. We gotta go sell some stuff though. Gotta get this all planted though before we uh, head into town. So they get a full chance to grow. I want to get that water tower up because I think that'll get, get us close to automatic watering. Okay, we missed the middle one there. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. How many minutes of planting? Oh my gosh, we're 25 minutes into the video and all I've done is plant stuff. I didn't think all this stuff would come in at once. Okay, that's the soil is all nicely watered. Ooh, massive farm. Okay, let's get some music going here. Dawn, let's try another day. Starting off pretty slow there. Okay, upgrade to level 3. We need to buy some iron or take some out of here. How much stone do we have? Well, let's go sell our banana crop and then some of these roses in town. And then we can buy some more sc iron scrap and iron. Check the price of the backpack. Because you can always use more storage. Apparently you can only sell a hundred of each thing per day. I read that in a comment, but I'm we'll, we'll have to verify that. So I feel like I sold more than a hundred one time, but uh, maybe it's only in one one go. How many roses do we have? 276. No, you can sell more than 100. 136. I don't want to sell them all because we might need them for stuff. Blueberries and bananas. Let's go sell. Oh, let's go check the price here. The backpack. 1,000. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to save up for that one. And here, let's sell some watermelon. How much? Do we have any? No, I used it all. We do have lots of blueberries, though. One thirty. We'll save some of the blueberries. Sell some bananas. Okay, they sell for four for five. Five for four. So we'll always keep a few left for replanting, even though I just replanted. Okay, that's that. Passion fruit. Sell a few of these. These are harder, oh, I just bought the wrong mistake. Crap. <laughs> Expensive mistake. And sell some of these. Okay, and the roses, I forgot to, uh, we can sell some more roses, yeah. It's a trading game. That's probably good. Okay. Uh, we want to buy some iron shards. Now, should we be buying these or just buying stone and then smelting? I think we get one for ten and ten costs two. Uh... But we also need fuel. Let me do some math here. So these are two gold each. Uh, ten stone is two gold. Uh, so it is cheaper to just buy these, I think, versus uh, smelting them. Okay, how many do we have? 91. We're going to need a whole bunch more than that. Got to save some money for the, the uh, salvage metal. Okay, that's good. What do we got here? Oh, it's here, the uh, salvage metal. Buy. These are pretty expensive. We'll spend most of our cash here. Okay, that's probably good. Let's head back. It's nighttime again.
Get our monocrop going. I really want to get that water thing up so we can do some automatic watering. But I think we'll need tier 3, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't been spoiling myself with videos or anything, so I don't really know how it works. I know it exists, but I don't know how it works yet. Okay, what does it take to build that bad boy? We can build a water tower. Oh, wow. It's going to reach everything, pretty much? Wow. Except up there. Hmm. Okay, right there's kind of a sweet spot. And I don't know how many, can we tell how many, oh yeah, it's hitting almost everything over here. Okay, that kind of worked out well. Too far, what do we do with this thing? Fill. Okay. We'll fill our can. Oh wow, that takes a lot. Okay, that's awesome. I think that's automatically watering them. Sweet. We're missing this one, though. That's okay. Not a problem. Did I water it? Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Wonderful. We're not hitting these ones down here, but that's okay. We're hitting the bulk of them. And I think they're getting auto-watered. How fast is this thing going down? Tower full. That's amazing. I love it. Okay. Okay, tier three. Should we be, uh... Okay, we need wood and more iron. 111. We do have a little bit more gold. Uh, we could shove some stone in here. Let's put in a good chunk of our stone. Light this puppy up. You know what, let's put it all in. And it's nighttime. Uh, snooze. See how that water tank did overnight. Oh wow, it sucked up a lot of water. Okay, we gotta fill this. But we only have to one, fill one thing now, which is great. We don't have to water each thing. It's so much better. We're gonna be rolling in the dose. Rolling in the Look at this. Magnificent. Um, the developer also put in a really cool screenshot mode. Which lets you do depth of field and lots of cool things. Uh, we also got this vignette and other stuff. You can also zoom out, which is nice. And pan around and stuff. Let's take a screenshot. There's color grading, which brightens everything up. I think I'm going to take down this tree and then take a screenshot. Because uh, I need a good screenshot for the episode. Deforesting. We need the wood anyway. Uh, we need to water these. Empty. Time goes so fast in this game. I guess that's a good sign. Oops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Gotta be careful about the scythe. Do not use the scythe around all these plants. I think we're I think the water hit tower is hitting this back corner. Can't really tell. Anyway, let's get that screenshot. Now maybe we'll wait for the sun to come up a bit more. It's kinda early morning. Let's get some different music going on here. Peace. Very peaceful. Okay, that was quite a bit. Uh, this map. Do I want to leave that? Can we zoom in on screenshot mode and like check this thing out? Oh. Not really. Okay. We got to get the whole farm in the, in the picture here. Is it possible? 
Yeah, this looks good. Cool. Boost the color. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, let's check our water thing. It might be, uh... Oh, it's still full. <clears throat> okay. What next? Level three. All we need is some wood now. And there's plenty of wood around. Oh, I got hit. If you stand near the stump, you get... You get uh, some painful damage. I do want to make the upgraded shield as well. So that we can survive a bit better in the dungeon. I was gonna check the bonus I got from the iron stuff. I gotta do that. Okay, one more trick. Everything's going a little bit faster though with these upgraded tools. As it should. Okay, I like this song. We can do it. Okay, here we go. What did we get? We got a ladder, I think, is a new thing. Large window we got. And we gotta unlock these things, but... Uh, we got a clock. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's learn that. Lamp, square rug. Okay, here's the wind tower. Uh, we need 40 uh, metal scrap for that. Wind-powered mill for grinding wheat into flour. Powering water tower. Okay. Okay. Now we're kind of dying of hunger here. I think I'm just going to eat blueberries since I have a bunch of them. Yum, yum, yum. What does it cost to build that tower? Farming. Oh, it's not there. Where is it? Oh, do I have to unlock it first? We have to unlock it. 40. 40 salvage metal to learn it. And then who knows what it takes to build it. Hmm. How much salvage metal do we have? 18. Okay, first things first. Let's check the bonus. Set bonus. <clears throat> what bonus did we get here? Woodsman Wood Wrecker. Is this a thing we can make? Oh, so the bonus is not on. I thought the bonus would be on each weapon. It's a thing we can make. Wood wrecker. Okay, that's cool. Pretty expensive to make. But uh, that's good, okay. I do want to unlock or make this reinforced shield. We just need a little bit more iron for that. we can do if we had stone. I kind of want to show you guys some other stuff though. Um, let's make sure we got our kind of fighting stuff on. Can put the watering can away. We'll bring the shield and we'll bring the battle axe. That's probably good. So I want to show you guys multiple things here before we run out of time. Okay first thing I discovered if you go for a swim in I think any direction something magical happens spoiler alert ahead Basically, go off map. Oh, okay, I'm seeing stuff to my left here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so swim in any direction, and you end up on Lonely Island, which is pretty awesome. Some bottles here, and there's this uh, weapon here the Marlin. Average damage, speed high, critical hit low, knockback average. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll grab it to equip. Grab to equip. I think we have to equip it to get it in our 
And let's see what kind of special moves this has. It looks pretty damn cool. Oh, that's cool. Cool, cool. And the way you get back is you just swim in any direction. Oh, that was really close. Okay, interesting. We ended up on Pirate Island. I found this in the first episode. And uh, there wasn't much here except this uh, black flag. Which is up here. The old pirate flag. So we'll just head south. Actually, I think we go this way to get home. That'd be a cool place to build a home. I want to be close to town, though. You can build homes in the town, apparently. So there's that, there's Lonely Island, and then, uh, oops. Kind of want to get the axe to... I think the sword is good for early days, but probably not compared to the, some of the, the steel stuff. It certainly looks badass, though. Pretty cool, pretty cool moves. It is quite fast. We are on an island here, that's for sure. I won't even attempt to do that jump, we'll just swim by it. We've been here before, this isn't new. There is another island though, somewhere up here. Hopefully I can find it. I think it might be south though, not up here. Oh, maybe it's here. Oh, we got a barrel over there we should probably hit. We need that metal scrap. Yeah, it's this way, I think. I just think there's some baddies on here. Hello, Mr. Barrel. I'd like to hit you. Yeah, I haven't been I, I haven't been here in this uh series. Okay, how are we doing? Sandstone altar. Oh boy, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. Uh we'll just use the sword, I guess. Oh, he's wrecking us. I'll use my shield. Oh, ouch. Let's eat some food. Oh, he's dead anyway. Okay. Come here, little guy. Oh, there's another big guy. Okay, let's eat. It's not healing a whole lot. Maybe we can use a different type of food here. Bananas? How are they for healing? You can only have 10 in your inventory at once. Okay, we're fully healed. Let's uh, take this guy on here. We'll use our special moves here. Do some blocking. Oh, I blocked. We're behind him. Okay, my blocking is totally failing. We'll just... Just go and wing it here. We got some good loot here. What did we get? We got some metal scrap. Got some coinage. And this thing. This looks like some, some kind of teleportation stone, but we can't interact with it. Probably open it from some other end or something. Exposed somehow later. Okay, it's getting it's getting towards nighttime here. I think I discovered everything here on this little island. <clears throat> uh, there's a barrel here. Let's get that. Oh, it's a couple barrels, which we cannot hit. There we go. Any more barrels in the corner here? Okay, well, this guy's body is hanging out here. I guess that's fine. 
Back home we go before the sun sets. Winter, uh, not winter, uh, nighttime is pretty cool. Cool looking. In some games, special things happen at night, so maybe I should just not sleep through the night one of these nights. Okay, this little pond is south of our home. Similar to the last episode, we'll go into the dungeon near the end here. There's a barrel here I gotta get. I think I forgot to check which weapons I got, too. Home sweet home. Uh, let's check our water tower here before we go to bed. It's, uh, it's doing okay. Should probably fill it up, but we'll just sleep instead. Check it in the morning. Empty. We must fill it. Watering can back in uh, shield slot, maybe. Fill her up. Oh, is that all we got? Three to fill it. Three full. Okay, it's full. Oh, the pumpkins are in. And we're missing the watering here, so. I might just get rid of this one once it's all harvested. We'll recycle this plot and move it down somewhere else. And these, let's harvest these. Now I'm gonna put blueberries in here because they'll come in a little bit sooner. So hopefully they'll be, they'll be ready at the same time as all these watermelons. Sweet, sweet. Look at this banana crop. I love it. I'm just running here all day. Okay. The windmill. Oh, we still have to unlock it. Okay. We unlocked it. Okay, what about uh, actual building? Yikes, kind of expensive. 350 wood. Uh, I'll grind those materials off camera. And we'll build it next time. What else can we do here? I want to see if we got any new weapons from this upgrade. Ooh, we got a better shield. Uh, 130. The Golden Ward. Passive blocking 20, active blocking 100. Nice, but it slows us down slightly. But this is active blocking, I mean passive blocking 30, passive blocking 20. I, I kind of like the passive blocking more. Because we can be striking at the same time, I think. There's this bad boy. Uh, damage high, speed average, critical hits high, knockback high. That's an upgrade. This does 100% uh, blunt damage. I mean, we're going to ultimately unlock everything, but so that's the golden collection. I think that's called the night collection, even though it's showing as golden. But we got to do some saving. We got to do a few crops and cells in between now and then. I do want to hit the dungeon here, though. Uh, do we get any new tools? We got a big bucket. That's pretty cheap. We should probably do that one pretty soon. And the backpack lamp. Not needing to be held. That's pretty cool. That's worthwhile as well. And this thing is... Crit resource bonus 50%. I think this is for rocks. This is pretty fairly cheap as well. It needs some iron shards, but... Okay, dungeon time. Got 11 minutes to hit the dungeon. Um, let's bring this badass axe, the shield, 
Don't really need that. We do need a torch, I think. We want the pick. We're going to leave the axe. Because we're not going to have to chop any wood. Can we use the axe and the torch at the same time? No. Can we use the shield and the axe at the same time? No, we can't. Okay. So the axe is a two-hander. Good to know. I might prefer the shield and the uh, sword, actually. Let's get in there. I liked how there's this mix of dungeon crawling and farming and exploring. Okay, should I swap out the shield? Uh, let's just go with this. We can't use the torch at the same time, though. That's kind of a... A bummer. So last episode, I think we went down this way. I think it was this way. Let's eat some bananas. Get fully nourished. Now, was it this way? I have a feeling it was not this way. I think we've been in here. Yeah, we, we came through here. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe it was down here we were. What is that? That looks like a baddie. It's a spawner. Okay, we gotta get in there. Ah. Gotta get over there. Get in the spawner. Kill it all at once. Some bananas. <laughs> okay, I think we got it all. Infestation killed. Okay, let's eat up a bit. Uh, yeah, we were here last time. I think we got all that good stuff. Looks like a regular rock. Let's heal up here by the torch. I hear a spawner. I think there's a spawner up there, but we've already been up there. This is where I want to go. Let's like this. Cool do I have? 41. We're good for coal. Yeah, I think sword and shield is the way to go. I thought we'd be able to hold this battle axe at the same time, but... Okay, have I been down here? Oh, I hear, I hear nasties. Oh yeah, this is where we were last time. Okay, let's get to that spawner real quick. We don't need to go here, but... Okay, we're all healed up. Kind of... Yeah, we were here last time. We are gonna go... This is the way I uh, kind of peeked, but I didn't go fully in, so... Here we are. This is what I saw. This thing. Light keystone. I don't have any of that stuff. Lightstone. We haven't seen any lightstone yet, unless this is a lightstone. On this guy. It looks like he's holding one. I finally got it. This is my ticket out of here. It's going to be close call. Okay, yeah, he died. Oh, he was he was holding one. Okay, you just have to run over it. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Uh, I don't, I don't want to warp out just yet. I want to see what's around here. This has iron in it. Okay, let's get this real quick. Oh, weapon, weapon, weapon. Oh, switch. <laughs> Can't see a bloody thing. Okay, that was uh, scary. We need some light. Okay, I'm gonna get this real quick since it's got iron in it. We need like a brazier. Let's swap out for some blueberries since we have way more of those. Okay, was there a brazier back here? I don't think so. Let's go down. Yeah, let's keep going the way we're going. 
We might go a little over time here just so I can see what's in here. Okay, here are spawners. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. okay look, he can't get to us from here. I can hear them spawning like crazy. I think we might have to jump over here. It's kind of risky business. Uh, that guy might block us. Jumping over. Well, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna... Oh boy. I think I'm gonna hit him and fall to my death. But we'll find out here real soon. Jump Q. Oh, we made it. <laughs> I can see a baddie over there. Okay, there's nothing on this rock. Uh, that was scary. Okay, we're gonna make a jump for it here. Jump Q. Oh. Sweaty fingers. Okay, there's some stuff up there. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I was hearing. We're missing wood. We can't repair the thing. Hmm. Oh, there's a bunch of them up there. Too bad I didn't bring any wood. Hmm. Let's light this so we can see what's going on. Always bring wood, I guess, is the moral of the story. What's up there? We got a spawner. What's over here? So maybe some loot. Should probably hit this. Get some coal. That looks like a dead end. Here, bad, scary things. Oh, have we been here? Yeah, we've been here. So that just looped around. Okay, good to know. to check that out next time after we bring some wood and we've been here I do want to see where that thing warps to I think it's gonna go back to the ruins I found that have all the different warp bits but let's check down here first ah. okay, there's more there's maybe a spawner down here Keep coming. I think we just spawned. Well, let's light this. Heal up a bit. Continue on. Oh yeah, there's multiple spawners. Do a slight retreat here. Eat up a bit. Get the spawner up here. Ah. Okay, back we go. Down and down as we go. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if we can warp back. If we can, if we can warp in, can we warp back? That's the question. Okay, we got a stairway here. Uh, it's kind of scary. The Forgotten City. Okay. I'm a little bit scared to go in here. I'll be honest. I feel like the difficulty level might go up. Let's go in here. Okay, nothing in here. We'll save this for another episode, since we're over time here. It does look cool. We'll peek in a little bit here. Yikes, that's a bigger one. Oh, there's multiple. 
And they're hitting really hard. Oh boy. Run away! Run away! <laughs> okay, these things are badass. One's down, one's down. Yikes. Okay, I almost crapped my pants there. Okay. Uh, let's warp out and see if we can warp back in. Because that'll be a shortcut, I think. If it works. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it takes us back here, but can we... We can't warp back in, we can only warp out. Okay. Good to know. Pretty easy to get back to uh, where we were, though. Seems like a good place to wrap things up, though. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.